What is going on YouTube, man? It's your boy G Clips. I am back with another YouTube video. Now listen up. I can't believe that y'all wanted this story over the high school story, which I'm y'all gonna end up getting that later on. But I can't believe I ain't think y'all was gonna want this story, bro. I ain't think y'all was gonna want this story. So look, first fight. So look, this me, my brothers, my cousins, my whole family, we all go to this camp. It's like it's like the most hood camp you can go to, like, in Cleveland type shit. Like, like niggas was smoking weed and doing all types of stuff. Like, girls was getting hit. Like, it was it was hella going on, bro. It was hella going on. And we was, like, 13, 14 at the time. So, like, it was a different type of, it was a different type of camp. Let's put it like that. It was different, some different ass shit, bro. Like, it was so normal, bro. Like, it started off so good, so smooth, like, all the way through. Now, we're going to get straight into the fight. Now, it was this nigga birthday. So, I'm a big nigga at the time. I'm, like, 5'2". I don't even remember what I was. Like, I don't got a clue. So, like, as a... I look like a 13, 14-year-old. So, me and my sister got into some argument at the camp. And we was not talking to each other the whole day. Like, we was not talking to each other at all, for real. Like, we was just whatever. Like, you chill with... The girl cousins, I chill with the boy cousins. We just doing whatever. So, look. The kid, it was his birthday that week. He was, um, I almost say he was teed. Like, honestly. Like, the nigga must have been teed or something. Because, I don't know. No. I don't know why this nigga decided to do this. So, look. I guess him and my sister got into some type of weak-ass argument or something. And the nigga said, I'll slap you. And my sister said, we at C. And the nigga slapped my sister. Nah. So I'm a young nigga at the time, and I'm just like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. I know one thing. You not about to put your hands on my sister type shit. So, word get back to me, like, and this is the, like, this is the end of camp, too. Like, the last day of camp. So, word get back to me. They like, yeah. Hey, G, that, um, that nigga over there hit your sister. He hit your sister. So I come out the bathroom. We in like this, it's this long ass cabin, like cafeteria shit. I come out the bathroom. I said, what? And everybody know, like, with me. So look, I'm going to just, I'm going to tell y'all one of these, like, weird ass talents I got. So I'm a big nigga that's like, like, I can do everything. Like, I didn't play basketball, football, soccer, baseball, basketball. Uh, damn, I say that twice. Uh, bowling, like volleyball. Uh, I can't think of what else off the top. Squash, tennis. Like I can play hella sports, like hella sports, like <laughs> and like pretty damn good at the shit too. Though the main sport that I used to do, but I had to get rid of, was wrestling. I couldn't box because at the time, bruh, nobody told me boxing was that much cardio. I'm a big nigga. We not doing that. It's not that much cardio going on, bro. Like. I thought I was supposed to punch a nigga, boom, bada, bang, that nigga rocked out on the ground, that's it, like, I ain't think I had to, like, breathe and do jump ropes, like, that, that's a, that's a whole different, that's a whole different topic, now look, now, where it get back to me, I'm at the cafeteria, and I'm coming out the bathroom, my cousins run up like, this nigga just hit your sister, and I'm like, what? They like, yeah, he just hit your sister, now, this my cousins, they know, that Greg can handle it. Like, that nigga can handle it. He'll handle it. So, I'm walking over there. And I'm like, he don't know I'm finna kill this nigga. Like, today the day where I'm gonna kill somebody. Like, because I know, I'm like, ain't no way this nigga just slapped my sister. So, like, I'm like, I'm like, ain't no way this nigga just slapped my sister. So, I'm walking down the hallway. And my cousins know exactly what type of time I'm on. Like, you, I got this, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, my whole demeanor had changed, and, like, I get real serious and shit. Like, I just be like, all right, bet. So then, the whole situation come in. I walk up there, dude come in, and I see this nigga from afar. I see this nigga from down the way type shit. So I'm like, oh, I got something for his ass. Walk up to the nigga. And, like, again, this nigga is, like, four, he, like, three, four years older than me. Like, he couldn't go to the camp next year because he was too old type shit. So, this nigga, um, 
So the nigga, I, he looking at me, I'm looking at him. He don't know who I am. So I'm like, hey, you put you put your hands on my sister? I was like, you you slapped my sister, bro? And he was like, yeah, bro, what you going to do about it? Instantly, I said, "What?" I'm like, "No, nah, bro. I'm like, I'm her, I'm her brother, bro. I'm her, I'm her brother." And I was looking at the nigga like, again, I ain't no hoe to nothing, like, or I'll be with all the shit. So then the nigga like, "What you gonna do about it?" Blah 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 blah. And the nigga get close to me. Now again, I used to wrestle. I used to box. No, well, I didn't didn't finish boxing. I'm not finna say I'm no trained boxer or nothing. But my main thing was. I just started wrestling, like, and I was like, I knew I had, I got great ass footwork. So I'm like, all right, bet. I grabbed the nigga, pick his ass up, and drop his shit on this damn cafeteria table. I'm talking about like just hard as shit. Boom, gunfo. The nigga on the cafeteria table just like leaned over, like. Like this, though. So I'm like, <laughs> and I knew what it was from there. I'm like, well, so I got to finish the nigga. So then I just get to rocking this nigga on the table. I'm talking about I'm getting bucky on this nigga, bro. Like, I'm dorking this nigga. So look, at the same time, I told you it's the end of, it's the, end of the uh, camp. My mama walked through the door. And I promise you, she just see me whooping on this nigga ass on this cafeteria table. And the uh, counselors and shit trying to get me up off of him. But they girls, so they can't really, it's not too much they could do. And I'm just beating this nigga ass, bruh. And they like, Greg, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm like, I don't know this nigga. And I'm like 13 at the time. I'm like, I don't know this nigga. But this nigga just slapped my sister, bro. I had the hell in his ass. And they like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Why you, eat you? Why you touch your sister? Why you touch your sister? Then my sister uh, came over and was like, yeah, I don't know him, blah, 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 blah. And was just talking. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know this nigga, bro. Like, I don't know. Th like, I don't know this nigga, bro. This my cousins came and got me. I walked over to the nigga. Picked his ass up, dropped his ass on the table, was beating on this nigga. This nigga get up off the table, he bleeding and shit. He got all type of shit on his, like, just blood on his whole side right here. That nigga had to be bruised, because I slammed that nigga hard as shit. Like, like I did. That man is bad. So, look. We we leaving. We leaving, though. Like, now we leaving out the place. My mom, like, yeah, I'm just take his ass. And they like, yeah, we ain't finna press charges. He too young for that shit. We not finna do all that. And the kid, I know that that had to be the worst birthday present for that nigga ever, bro. Like, that had to be the worst shit you could ever have happen. Because that nigga was hurt, bro. And so I'm like, so I'm like, I'm feeling some type of way. Like, I'm riled up. You know how when you when you got something in you, you low-key feel that adrenaline. That's, that's what it is. You got that adrenaline in you. I promise you, bro. Like, I'm like, this nigga don't know. This nigga don't know who I am, man. That's what I do, nigga. I, niggas, talk, niggas didn't already. That's what I do. I put niggas on the flow. I put niggas on the flow. So then, my mom just walking. My mom walking to the car. It's me, my mama, my sister, and I think my cousins. My cousins probably left with us. Now we walking to the car, and she was like, he was like, he touched Kendall. You put your hands on him. You lucky. Should have killed the nigga. And I was like, hey, I told that nigga, man, I told that nigga, no, bro, this, I don't, and then, look, look, this one made it worse, though. My cousins was like, we knew Greg was going to handle it, like, we knew Greg, <laughs> we knew Greg was going to handle this shit, bro, because if G do it, then he going to be feeling that. If I do it, he, he might, he might want to keep fighting and shit. He not going to want to fight this nigga no more. So, look, man. That's the end of the story time, man. Um, Lesson of the day. If anybody touch your sister, try to kill that nigga. Been your boy G Clips. I'll see you when I see you.
bag. We, we the bad guys. Is that nigga cool or should I ask God? She say you get money all the time, I'm like the last guy. Fast guy. Up that bitch and ran, oh, he's a fast guy. Reaching for my chain, I turn your future to your past guy. Designer bag, I'm swagging. I'm fly just like a ladder. I'm street, don't need no stylist.